Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. The Daily Vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm picking on. I really get to clicking, but I'm looking for a sister to the bottom and win the kiss on. If you want to. All right, vlogging on the cell phone because I am at Best Buy at Mall Millennia to uh, drop off this or see what, what's gonna go on with repairing this. So the lens, pretty kaputs right there. Um, the screen is just cracked in the back. That's not huge. I think they can replace that without replacing the camera, but I don't think they'll be able to fix the lens, but we'll see. It's just a kit lens, so it's not like it's an exuberantly expensive piece, but I'm over here. At the Best Buy, gonna see what's going on. We have the total protection plus accidental damage. Um, and then I'm going to Track Shack to go visit. Sarah's been there before, but I've never been there. And being an ambassador, I'm excited. I'm picking up our 4th of July watermelon 5K packets, but let's uh, see what Geek Squad has to say about this camera. A few moments later. All right, bittersweet news. They're able to fix it. They're gonna replace, well, they're gonna call later and find out. We have total coverage up to $750, so if it costs more than $750, they'll just send us a new camera. But if it's less, they'll fix it. But the estimated arrival back at the store here is July 11th, so a little over two weeks. I'm gonna take a look around. The guy, the agent, if you, if you watch our vlog, dude, thanks for helping me out. You were super helpful and super, it was a easy and painless process. They checked it out, pulled up my plan. We had the total coverage with accidental damage. So he's like, hey, you're good for coverage, so let me just get this set up to ship out and you'll be good to go. I called Sarah jokingly saying we should just pick up one of these cameras or one of these cameras. I had to break the news to her that we would be out of camera for two weeks. I'm really just bummed more so about the fact that our G7X doesn't work um, because that was like our backup go-to. And now that that doesn't work, we don't have like a good or a consistent backup. Me and her decide when I called her, we're like, we'll just figure something out later about how we want to keep a sustainable thing. Cause it's weird, like not everybody has a camera attached to their lives like we do. So we'll figure it out. But now we gotta head over to Trek Shack. Check it out. Here we are on Mills Avenue. Look at this cool, cool mural. Orlando Avenue, like a real busy street is right down there. I'm actually gonna pop back there right where we go to that get the pizza. I'm gonna grab some coffee on the way home because it's on the way to I-4. Look at that cool mural. Look at these cool One Orlando signs for Pulse. For the, This is where, the, I think we're near where the One Pulse run was. But I gotta pick up my packet and Sarah's packet and check out this store that I'm repping. This is this is what I love about local shops. Like, this is amazing. The com This company, it's family owned still. Been around since I think the 70s. And they are pretty well known around the nation for being such a small, small store. Here is Track Shack. It's super cool. They have, like, that's all the wall of the community running stuff. They got all the accessories and everything. They manage and direct all the run Disney's for Walt Disney World. The ad's awesome. They got a whole corner dedicated to the Track Shack runs, community events, right on the north side of Orlando. Trek Shack running series. I love it. If you ever get a chance or you're in the area, check them out, look them up. They do a lot of stuff around the nation too. All right, I got our bibs, but this is what I was looking at yesterday. And it's starting this year, 2019, 2020, 2021, the Orlando Half Marathon. If you do all three, over three years, you get this super cool challenge medal. My problem is this year is the same day of the 50k in Daytona. I gotta ask them because online, there's a virtual option, so I need to see if, if I do the virtual option for this, if it counts towards the three. I couldn't leave and not show you this, but look at this awesome, they have a hall of fame, all the history, all this. This is incredible. They got a deep, deep history of running in America. Big in Orlando, big across the country multiple wards just look at all this it's incredible all right so i got distracted there after looking at the hall of fame or like the, the history stuff over here at track check because a guy came out i was like hey you got any questions like can i help you and i was like you know i don't got any questions i'm just checking this place out it's super awesome i was like i'm actually you know one of your newer ambassadors and i just wanted to check the place out because i love local running shops 
coming from Chicago and knew a runner. He was like, well, I'm actually like some of the founder's son, Chris, and I worked with Maria to like kind of get that ambassador program started. So like, I will tell you all about it if you want. And he gave me like the coolest rundown of like the history of just like the local runners. Sorry, the weird camera angle. I'm trying to get my keys out. All right, check it out. Here's the bibs for the watermelon 5K on Thursday. Um, hung out with Chris just a little bit ago. Um, one of the founder's sons, and he's one of the, like, him and Maria were like the spearhead of the ambassador program, so it's like a newer thing for them. So he was excited, excited that I came in and we got to talking about like what running means to them. And he showed me all these photos of like local Oviedo runners that are like now Olympians and just like professional runners through the past like three decades that have that fly out no matter if they're not even from here they fly out to track shack to get all their socks and shoes and get fitted because they trust them because it's family owned and everything they are the third party race directors that's what it is they're the, they've been the third party race directors since the since the original run disney event and they've also spearheaded and and done the directing on other major races like they did the la marathon last year or i think it was last year or two years ago they directed it and that was the uh, u.s u.s olympic qualifying race so like even though they're just this small shop right here in winter park florida on the north side of orlando they just like love the sport they've been true to the sport it's been family owned and run friends help you know like are the employees and they're just like genuine family things. So like that's what has helped them. I got this cool little calendar. I think technically the seasons are August to July. So I think right down there you see July is the watermelon is the end. But all these repeat. So then it'll, cut, it'll start back up in August with Celebration of Running 5K, Battle of the Bands 5K. Um, all the way through you got Lake Yola runs. You got the Half Marathon, the Reindeer Run. So... Um, you'll be seeing us at a lot more these just because these are more community based and I'm excited because they're in different areas like this one on Thursdays in Winter Park other ones are in downtown Orlando some in Arvido. Um and it's I know we said Sarah and I said that we wanted to do 2019 as the year that we like started exploring other areas of Orlando not the theme parks but I think with us moving and IVF I think now it'll really be a good time for us to start exploring different communities and neighborhoods to figure out where we could grow our life and family outside of just going to the theme parks because you do need that. We miss that hominess and neighborhoodless of Chicago, but this could be a cool catalyst. I need to get coffee now and go home because it is noon. I'm picking up a Coke for Sarah because she's got a headache and she can't take Excedrin right now. And this is the crazy longest line. And I was on the phone with my mom, so I didn't want to go in to get it because I wanted to go through the drive through but the drive through is crazy crazy slow. I've been in this line for like 10 minutes. This is crazy. I just want to get a hot and spicy McChicken. We're about to go on a picnic. A picnic. Eva's super pumped because we're gonna go on a picnic. Ding! I'm rocking a pretty good headache right now. Yeah, so we're gonna get look for some vegan cheese spreads at Aldi, Aldi and then hit up a park not too far from us. Mm -hmm. And so live stream. Fresh air and do the live stream, and we'll tell you about our cool blanket. One right there. How about this cool blanket? Why you got it for me? Oh yeah, you remembered. Sarah got some snacks from Aldi. Yep. Eve just realized that we're getting out. She's so excited. Got some water. She doesn't even realize that Sarah picked up some adult dog food, wet food. She's only had wet food a few times before. Here's our spread. We got Takis. We got some oh. good looking watermelon, garlic hummus, flies, vegan chocolate. Let's try it. I got this kind of like poblano guacamole. Somebody told us about like this plant based cheese spread. They didn't have it at our Aldi. And I didn't think there'd be like these covered things, which is great in case the afternoon rain comes in. We also can't live stream from here, we decided, because of the wind. And I don't think it's going to let up because there's no buildings around us and we're next to this giant field. Like, this is just calling for wind, which we'll just adapt as we go. Yeah. Wow. He's living her best off. She was already really tired before we got here, but we have her tied up on a rope, which she's never had, like, that kind of freedom as much. But she's not eating her snacks that we brought her. And now we've made kind of a mess that we'll have to clean up. 
but she's almost too tired and the wind is ruthless but she loves the breeze in her hair. Yeah, it really helps with like the temperature, like she's not hot at all. Eat up! You windy girl. A breeze. We haven't anything like this here. <laughs> we, we haven't. But it looks so Florida with those art basketball hoops and this comfort thing. Eve, you're a Florida dog. You've lived most of your life in Florida now. We just got comfy on our blanket, but we're starting to feel some rain. I wanted to tell you guys that this blanket was, I think, our five year dating anniversary gift to me. I think so. I think it was the same year. I don't know, maybe it was, it was the year after. Whatever it was. It was intentional for picnics with our babies. A little thicker Martha Stewart one. Yeah. You get nasty, you can get grubby, you can get stained on and yeah. up. It's for the picnic. Yeah. Eve's just having the time of her life. There's other doggies she's looking at. There's little kids over there. She just has loves life and wants nothing to do with us right now. All right, the storm's rolling in, so we're gonna get out and go home and do a live stream. Look at the, even the lights on over there. He's so ready. Did you have a good time, Eve? Hello, from Disney Springs. Have we vlogged in a very long time? We did my shot. I don't think we've vlogged since the live stream or even before that. So, we relaxed for a while. I still have a headache. Um, but we figured instead of going to the park and pushing it, we'd rest and then just come to a movie at Disney Springs. We're gonna see the Beatles movie. Yeah, it's called Yesterday. And before that, we're just gonna go like classic Disney Springs shopping in the market. So classic, there's no sugar boom involved. Some things, no matter how classic, classic of a night we're having, we just can't do and we're not okay with it. It is not. I repeat, it is not a classic Disney Springs night. Dare I say, downtown Disney night. We got the Christmas store. Remember the good old days when we would enter right here? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I like, it was the best way to everyone would enter right through here. It was the best way to start your day at Disney Springs. Christmas store. Yeah. We came back. This is our favorite area. All the fun tastes. You what? I don't know how I can tell I live in Florida now. Why? Because I have my dogs dropping bags in my pocket still for my adventure. <laughs> We're pretty pumped. We're gonna jam out to Beatles music for the next two hours. Alright, here we go, Theater 3. Yesterday, are you Are you excited? This is the one you've wanted to see for a long time. Yeah. So good. I smiled through the whole trailer of this movie. So I called it when we left. Um, even though halfway through it, I turned to Sarah and said I hate this movie. <laughs> but it's because I'm always concerned that like conflicts won't resolve and it won't be a happy ending. Mm -hmm. But it was a happy ending. It and was, I think it's going to be... Yeah, it was really, really good. I think it's going to be one of my top fives. Yeah. Maybe even a top three. Like, I loved it that much. It does not beat about time. But... It's just a simple, well, it's got like a little artsy vibe to the shots, like oh very gosh, Sergeant the Peppers. Brilliant. Very Sergeant Peppers yeah. kind of style vibe and to ended, it. It was really cool. But it's like, and I love what's her name, Lily James. Yeah. And I love that actor, and I love the music, and I love the story. And it was like, there was no crudeness to it, there was no, like, it's just like no pushing boundaries. It was just a good old fashioned, mm -hmm. good story. So I literally almost want to go see it again. I'd, I'd, I'd like, like to, to like pick up more in the background, I think. I know, that's what I love so much. And like, we secretly want to just live in a small UK town. <laughs> oh my gosh, like when they like just showed their neighborhood street, Sarah I was turned like, to me. I want to live there. And I was like, let's go, let's move. <laughs> We're home and we promised we'd show off some of the different things that we've received <clears throat> in hopes of helping with our infertility. Um, this is St. Gerard. There's a medallion, as well as a prayer that my grandma would do every day, and we would do all the time. So I also got a, um, a rosary from Katie's sister, who also um, has done IVF, and I've been using it very um, diligently. 
diligently. That's the perfect word. Megan and Katie got us us this um, like wish bracelet. When it starts to fray, your wish is going to come true and it's starting to fray. Our friend Alyssa also gave me a pineapple necklace because that is the symbol of infertility awareness. And this bracelet's for my sister. It's um, some moon stones and other types of stones that um, have to do with astrology. And yeah, I've been wearing that often as well. And this other necklace says the best is yet to come. It's from my sister-in-law, Kim. Um, and another just good reminder. So this is from my cousin. It's an African um, fertility goddess that I've been wearing um, like underneath my clothes. This is an Indian pendant that our friend Karen gave me. I've been sleeping with this underneath my pillow. And then Jen Adams just gave us this the other day. She just was in Utah and got it, and it's the Native American um, fertility god. So that's all our special treasures that have helped us along the way. Along with shirts and messages and postcards. Of course, of course, of course. All right, today is the 29th. June is almost done. That is crazy. So here's the 29th by Anonymous. Saying you're sorry is important, but not doing the same thing again is more important. So true. Day one on the cell phone of vlogging, I think, was a success. We'll see <laughs> yeah. how long it takes to transfer all these files to the computer tomorrow morning. Yikes! But Josh oh, Bob okay. has his Sony charged and ready to go. We just gotta go get it from him. Awesome. But uh, definitely go see. Along. Go see yesterday. Thanks for following along. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the continued amazing messages about us starting IVF. Day two's done. Kick I feel like back. Sarah's really gonna start feeling it tomorrow, but we'll see. Yeah, the headache I feel like is a sign that it's pretty full force, so. Yeah. So we'll see how, I mean, there's a lot of side effects that we could be seeing. Yeah. But we will only time will tell. Yeah, and we'll take care of ourselves. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.